what you're going to have to do is instead of treating all these uh, the same, each one's going to have to be treated differently. Every country, every host country is going to have to be treated differently because uh, our reputation in the world or the feeling about Americans in the world has changed dramatically over the last 200 years. And there's countries where, uh, uh, such as Western Europe, where uh, you don't, we don't have to have what we have, and yet you go to other places. And I'm, I've been shocked in some of the countries I've been in that are not countries friendly to the United States and seen the minimal uh, amount of, uh, uh, of marine presence uh, that we've had there. And then, of course, we all learned, I, I think, uh, uh, at least I did for the first time, or I guess I'd heard it, but it, it didn't stick previously, that the Marines are there to guard the documents. And I, I mean, that's shocking. Uh, their, their first uh, obligation ought to be to pr protect Americans uh, that are serving in that embassy. I, I'm hoping that's going to change. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it will change. And it would seem to me the rules of engagement really need uh, review. Uh, we, we all, I looked at those people streaming through the front gate uh, in Benghazi. <laughs> That wouldn't have taken that much to uh, to stop that attack if indeed they'd have been they they would have responded to it immediately. It seemed to me. Um, again, I, you're looking at film, and I understand it's a lot more sterile than actually being there uh, on the ground at the time. But when armed people are coming through the front gate, it would seem to me it's time to do something about it. And and nothing was done about it until uh, uh, virtually everybody was in.